So this right here is a overpriced belt, Louis Vuitton belt. Don't ask me why I have it. I was in LA, I had a talk to give, and I realized I had no belt, and so I ran to the mall and I grabbed this thing. I think it was like seven, 800 bucks. I've worn it a few times. Now it's just a belt that I wear. It means nothing to me. I'm sharing this for a reason. All of this will make sense in a second here. This here is a Rolex presidential. Super nice watch. Bought it for pretty much $2,000 under market value. So if I sell it, I could probably get two or three grand more that I paid for it. It's been a great conversation starter. And it was like a goal of mine for a decade. Really means nothing to me. Like if I sold it tomorrow, it would be gone and that's fine. I'm okay having no watch or having a little $100 watch on my wrist. It means nothing to me. Why am I bringing this up? Because until we get more pleasure, I'm gonna tell you right now that I got 100 times more pleasure buying Bitcoin at $16,000 than I did ever buying this belt. I got way more pleasure, dollar cost averaging it into Ethereum or other investments or even investing in my own business than I did buying this watch. Way more pleasure. Way more pleasure than the motorcycles I own, the cars I own. I get a lot of pleasure from investing. And I think until we fall in love with that process of investing, becoming financially free is going to be near impossible. If you take, you know, five, six, seven hundred dollars and you buy this belt, you are literally going to take this seven hundred dollars, you're going to crumple it up, you're going to throw it away, and in return, you have this thing which might be cool for a little bit, but it's also going to deteriorate and eventually be worth pretty much nothing. Versus if you take X amount of dollars and you invest them, and two years later, hey, bull run happens, and now you've got a stack of it instead of a couple pieces of paper, you're playing the game right. And then if you want, you can go buy one or two of these. You can go buy this thing. If some type of material item you're trying to buy is stretching your bank account, if you're going into consumer debt over it, you are, you've been lied to by society and you bought the lie. We're all lied to constantly every single day, but you bought the lie. Oh, this thing is going to make me more successful. This thing is going to give me respect. This thing is going to make me successful. This thing is going to make me feel special. It's going to make me feel like the rich and famous. Crap, and we know it. So I'm going to tell you right now, and it's always about the process, whether you're building a business or you're investing or you're trying to build some kind of future version of the life that you're looking to build, it's all about falling in love with the process. If we can't fall in love with the process, if we are just outcome focused, constantly thinking about the outcome, constantly obsessing about the outcome and how it's not here, constantly doing everything we do for the outcome, you will get disappointed quick, you'll lose focus quick, and next thing you know, you're gonna go on to the next opportunity, the next shiny thing, the grass is greener over there, and because you're constantly restarting, you're never getting anywhere. Fall in love with the process. Make the process fun. Make it enjoyable. Fall in love with actually owning Louis Vuitton stock than actually owning the damn belt. Fall in love with getting paid the dividends from it. Getting, fall in love with buying the Bitcoin at 16 grand so you can sell it at 80 and make a 4x return on your money, which takes most people five years to do. Fall in love with the process. Make investing fun. Make it so natural. Now, once a week or whenever you're doing it, you're investing and it's fun. The sooner we can make it feel less about, oh my God, I have to give away my money and I'll never see it and it's going to take so long to get a return. The more we understand every time we invest, we're literally investing in something that's going to pay us back in multiples. And I'm going to tell you for the first 28 years of my life, I never thought that way and I never got anywhere. And for the last six years of my life, I've thought that way and I've gone far. So either listen or don't, but I hope, I hope something lands and I hope we take some action on it. Appreciate you. I believe in you. Keep going. Anything and everything you want is available to you. I genuinely, truly believe that for myself and anybody else, anything you want is available to it. If you're willing to put in the work and you're willing to be patient. With that said, I'm out of here. Like, subscribe, comment, what all the cool YouTubers say. You do what you feel you got to do. Would love for you to stick around this channel. Hope you find some value. And with that said, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.